All right, you are watching DefenseReview.com. We are at Kellen, and we are going to be looking at some tactical white lights here. And we've got Magdalena Wozniki, yes, who's going to show us this stuff. So, uh, what are we looking at, Magdalena? Uh, currently, we are looking at an AR-15 platform setup with our grip integrated remote control lighting system. What we've done is taking taken the tactical light mounted to the weapon and eliminated the wired system, okay. so that we've put the remote controls directly into the grip. The purpose that this serves are actually several of them. They eliminate the possibility of any wires getting caught. So you've still got full tail cap functions. This okay. one particularly has a red flashlight head on it. Right. And also what you can do is quick release, take this off, toss it or set it up as a distraction 25 feet away, activate the light. Another purpose that the serves for the Spec Ops guys is that they now have both trigger control and lighting control in one hand so that when they're clearing or sweeping they don't have to take their hand off the weapon at any time and instead can do you know in teamwork exercises or like i said clearing doors anything like that all with trigger and and light control all of our lights also feature strobing functions eight levels of output top output for our white lights which is right over here is 350 lumens we also have the interchangeable heads from green, UV, IR, and, uh, and red. We also have all of our uh, interchangeable flashlight heads. So this is a four LED floodlight, also mounted, fits same flashlight body. And the same system applies. All of the flashlight heads are interchangeable and it will not, uh, not lose the signal. Our transmitter and receiver is in the tail cap. A lot of questions that we have from military and spec ops guys is, can the signal be jammed, uh, scrambled, can it jump signals? The answer is it cannot. It is not a Bluetooth signal, it's a radio frequency, and it's a mix of high and low frequencies so that it does not show up on anything. If it does show up, it shows up only as background noise. A couple things that we are capable of doing is programming a thousand lights to one remote or vice versa, a thousand remotes to one light. Again, they will not jump signals. Each of our lights comes with the serial number and that number is paired directly to the grip of your choice. Some of the grips that we've been integrating is binary rail system with the Kellen top, our chip inside, and the bottom part is made by US Palm. We also have US Palm grip integrated remote control, Pogue, and Magpul, the MOE Plus grip. We can pretty much modify it for any weapon right now. We're doing for M4s, AR-15s. We also have a setup for an AK-47. Um, anything with a Picatinny rail system, we can mount this binary rail panel. And then one more thing that we're working on right now is the Ballistic Shield Light Upgrade Kit. This is, again, eliminating the possibility of wires getting tangled up in anything. And this is for the non-lethal submission. This is over 3,000 lumens. We can up that lumens. Um, Basically, just depending on what the law enforcement needs, we can customize anything. We've got the uh, we've got the technology, and so we just need the requests for what you guys need, and we'll we'll get you taken care of. All right, thank you, Magdalene. I thank appreciate you. it. All right, you are watching DefenseReview.com.